Marie Valkyrie was a one-of-a-kind girl, Aiden Hughes would always say. You'd never find her without a smile, and her attitude was so contagious that even the old milkman, who in those days was still as grumpy as today, couldn't keep himself from laughing at her antics. She would get these ideas in her mind, and they were the most inspired ideas. She once spent three months tending to the circle of stones in St. Paul's Wood so that it was the perfect place to picnic. In those days, the stones didn't moan as they do today. She also spent a lot of time up at that old abandoned shed on Hilbert Hill. One day she came down and wanted the entire town to help her clean the place up. She claimed that the little folk living under the shed would give good fortune to anyone that helped. She wanted everyone to have a chance at happiness. See, that was the thing about Murray. She only had to ask, and the entire town would rally behind her crazy antics, no matter the reason. That's just who she was. You know that alleyway off Main Street? The one I tell you to never go down? Back before things changed in Fells Glen, the alleyway was drab, dark, and boring. One day, Marie took a camera and started snapping pictures of all the people that lived in Fells Glen. She said she was going to line the walls of that alley with the smiling pictures of all the people she loved. It took her a week, but when she was done, the alleyway was transformed into a place that radiated warmth. Jordan Winia had heard old man Aiden talk about that alley many times, but he never mentioned why she shouldn't go inside. A chill crawled up her spine as she made her way through the now unused alley. Her hands ran along the pictures that lined the walls, but after a closer look, she immediately drew her hand away. Every single person stared at her with such an intense look of malice that she felt the need to pick up her pace. She was nearing the end when she heard the whispers coming from all around her. You don't belong here. Jordan stepped from the alley and vowed to never go in again.